Hi, my name is Ichiro Fujinaga. I'm a professor at music technology at McGill University. Uh, I'm leading a group of researchers doing musical information retrieval, which means how to find music, uh, mostly on the web. In order to do that, we first have to figure out how to store music and rela related information uh, in the libraries or music libraries or databases uh, throughout the world. So what we develop is practices, frameworks uh, for digitizing and having infrastructure so that people can access and find music easily. Both, when I say music, it means both audio and scores and even video. One of the things that we're concerned with is what's called the metadata, that is information about the data we're dealing with, about music, recordings, etc. And what we like to do is to get all this metadata information automatically. But what I'm talking about is things like uh, title of the music, composers, performers, uh, in the case of LPs, we like to know what was on the album covers, uh, who were the artists, photographs, photographers, um, translators, etc. So we like to get all this in the, in, in the computer so people can search it, but uh, what we need to do is try to automate this process so it doesn't take tens or hundreds of years to uh, input this information into the computer. In this project, there are four other researchers uh, working, and these are Martha DeFrancisco, uh, Daniel Levitin, Douglas Eck, and Gottfried Toussaint. Uh, Martha DeFrancisco is in the sound recording area of in music, and she's a experienced professional classical music producer, worked for Philips Records for a long time, and she brings in the expertise of how re recordings are made, uh, what kind of engineering engineers and uh, microphone setup uh, were used or could have used. These are important again for metadata. We would like to know uh, how the record recording sessions took place and we'd like to document that uh, in our database. Douglas Eck is from University of Marriott. Uh, he's a computing scientist but very interested in music and he's very good at what's called the machine learning so he's an expert at training or teaching computers how to analyze computer um, how to analyze music and to extract information that we like to have. Uh, Daniel Levitin is in psychology at McGill and he's, he's, he's also a, a producer uh, before he became a professor of psychology and obviously he's very interested in a perceptual aspect of music and its influence on people and how, how, uh, people, how people listen to music, how they perceive music, and how we like to search for music. Finally, Got Gottfried Toussaint uh, in Computing Science at McGill. He's a musician, he's a percussionist, and he's interested in many things about music, but he's uh, particularly interested in rhythmic aspect. Uh, but he's also a expert in machine learning and pattern recognition which help us uh, again to help computers learn about music so that can get information about music automatically uh, then help uh, listeners find their favorite music. The other thing uh, this group is involved in is uh, preservation of Media Arts. This is in collaboration with Daniel Langwa Foundation. It's a sh large shirt grant, five-year project uh, involving many people from the arts community, museums, archivists, um, and other universities such as UQA, University of Montreal, and Concordia. Uh, and finally, the the project we're doing here uh, is taking uh, old records, uh, which may be broken and scanning that with a very high powerful uh, microscope and taking an image of it then try to convert that into sound so we can hear uh, perhaps even a broken record.
This music information retrieval research theme uh, fits very well with Kermit's mandate because it involves many uh, disciplines. As I mentioned, we're interested in how people listen to music or perceive music, which involves psychology. Uh, we like to automate many of the digitization process and the metadata ex extraction process, which involves computing science and in particular machine learning involving many uh, engineers and computing scientists. And also uh, musicians often are the primary users of music libraries and would like to have their input as well. This research themes of music information retrieval is related to many of other uh, Kermit research themes. Uh, one in particular, music perception and cognition is very closely related because it involves how we perceive music and which helps us to understand how people like to look for music or search for music. For example, similarity. If I wanted something that is similar to this particular uh, piece of music, we need to understand what we mean by similarity and music psychologists have been uh, tackling this problem for a number of years.